Hallelujah. Praise God. Happy Hallelujah. Sunday morning. I was going to say yeah. November. First yeah. November Sunday morning. Yes. That's why I wanted, I wanted to throw November in there. Feliz Domingo por la mañana. Hallelujah. Welcome everybody to New Beginnings Church of the Big Ben. Amen. Bienvenidos a la iglesia de nuevo comienzo. And I say it all the time. Prepare yourselves to receive. Amen. You have to do something on your part. Amen. Anytime when you're with him, just be ready and prepare yourselves to receive whatever God has for you. And you know what? He's always willing to give. Are you always willing to open the door? Are you always willing to partake? Amen. Because he's always giving. Amen. Yes, yes. So praise God. And he wants us to be givers. Remember, he's our greatest example. Yes. Amen. He's a giver. For God so loved the world, he gave. Yeah. He gave his best. So we must give our best. We're, we're going to be talking, um, getting a little ahead of myself, but we're going to be talking about part two on uh, surrendering all. Yeah. We need to surrender all. Amen. So before we do that, grab your swords. Soldier of God. Yeah. And speaking of soldiers, Veterans Day is coming up on the 11th. Yes. So oh, remember, yeah. veterans, you know well, you know, you say, well, uh, I never had anybody in my family serve military. But you know what? <laughs> Somebody went for you. Yeah. And you live in the best country, uh -huh. the freest country in the world. Amen. So, you know, don't just pass it up because you don't know anybody, you know. Maybe this time, the Lord impress on you to just go grab, uh, buy some little extra uh, flags and just take them and find out where all the veterans are buried. Amen. Amen. And put a little flag on them and say, says, thank you for your service time. Amen. Amen. Or maybe you know a family and just go and say thank you, you know, for your for your, for your loved one's uh, service time. Amen. Amen. So praise God. And I had a, an honor to serve myself, you know, so uh, <laughs> uh, it's, it's, it's humbling, right. yeah. you know, and uh, I still feel like uh, I want to go. <laughs> but, uh, I still, each one, every one of us has been called to God's army. Uh -huh. Amen. And some of our greatest uh, uh, veterans are Bible heroes. Amen. Amen. Jesus Amen. being the first one, you know. Yes. He's the greatest soldier. He's the greatest veteran, you know. So remember these things, you know. We had some Bible veterans cheering us on. Amen. 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 Say, hey, yeah. you can make it. And this is how you can make it. Yes. Just say it like you mean it, church. Amen. Yes. This is my I Bible. Have my I have what it says I am. I have what it says I have. I can do what it says I can do. Today, I'll be taught the word of God. I boldly confess my mind's alert, my spirit is receptive, and I'm never the same in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Lord, I just went off on the uh, on the veterans there. So thanks all the veterans that are watching and listening. Uh, appreciate your service time. Amen. Amen. Uh, parents, uh, for your loved ones that have served and given their times, amen. Yes. Loved ones, uh, uh, spouses, amen. So praise God, prepare yourselves to receive. All those of you that are listening by audio or video, watching by video, prepare yourselves to receive, amen. God wants to bless you, encourage you, change you, and correct us, amen. amen. He wants us to be the best, amen. Yes. Be the best, you know. When you go and train military, they train you to be the best yes. that you can be, and you know what they tell you after that is. Stay ready. Yes. You're always battle ready. Ready to go at any time, you know. Amen. And you're on 24-7 call. <laughs> Amen. And that's what God wants us to be. He wants us to be on call all the yes. time. Okay. And we're going to be talking about this. When you surrender yourself to him, you don't say, well, you know, uh, ah. tell brother so-and-so or tell sister so-and-so. Mm -hmm. they, they're better than me. No. They know more than me. Oh, but wow. guess what? <laughs> He's tagging on your He's, he's tugging on you yeah, and yeah. telling you, you go. You know why he's calling on you? Because he knows you. Yeah. And he knows that you can do what he's called you to do. Yes. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. I don't know about you, but I'm blessed already. Yeah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So grab your swords, grab your Bibles, and uh, we're going to be reviewing them just a little bit. Amen. Yeah. And I don't know where I put my reviews here. Anyway. First of all, surrender all. Mm -hmm. I surrender all to Jesus. Surrender all yes. to him, part two. Yes. Let go and let God. No more excuses, okay? No more. <laughs> We've heard them all. You know, just think about <laughs> what he thinks. I've heard that one before. I've heard that one before. <laughs> Whatever you come up with, he's already heard it, okay? Yeah. So no more excuses. Amen. We're going to be doing some reading, so 
prepare yourselves to receive or read in a few minutes. But uh, what are the definitions about uh, surrender? Mm. Military terms, surrender means defeat. Mm. But as a child of God, <laughs> when you surrender, yeah. means victory. Yes. Mm -hmm. Means winning. Yes. Amen. Let me let me yeah. read it to you this way. Surrender means victory. Amen. Praise God. Are you willing to let go and let God mm. take over your life? Amen. <laughs> Surrender it all to Him. Amen. Yeah. Surrender also means to give it up, give up possession yeah. of or power over. Uh -huh. Also means to yield to another, uh -huh. yielding unto Him. Amen. Yeah. It also means to resign oneself, taking yourself off the throne and putting Him oh, on the throne. Amen. Yeah. Oh, this is very important. Uh -huh. oh, on a daily basis, sometimes we need to adjust this. On a daily basis, you know, as often as we need to, Matthew six thirty three says, to uh, <laughs> seek you first the kingdom of God yes. and His righteousness, and all these other things shall be yes. added on to you. So I want to serve Him first. Amen. Let go and let God. Let Him have it all. Totally surrender. Total commitment. Amen. Yes. When you're going to do something for yourself or for somebody else, you don't halfway do. That's right. You want to make sure, you know, uh, a lot of people compliment me on the work I do. They know I was that I'm going to do this, Lord, as, as a, if I'm doing it under you. Yes, and amen. when I do it under him, you know, people see the difference. Yeah. And say, wow, this, uh, I, <laughs> I couldn't do better than this. Well, that's fine, you know, but I always say, praise God. Thank you, Lord. Amen. amen. So you, we do the same. Amen. Amen. If we're going to do it, yeah. do it. Your best way. Yes, Give it your amen. best. Amen. For God so loved the world, He gave His best. Yes. He gave His only Son. Yes. He gave His best. Amen. So we need to do the same thing. So grab your Bibles, uh, open up to Luke. Oh, I'm gonna, I was going to read it from. Uh, I already have it on here. Uh, we're going to have a little ways to go here. But Luke, uh, open up to Luke 14. We're going to start at verse 7. And we're talking about Jesus first, he's teaching uh, humility. <clears throat> yeah. Start at verse 7. So just follow along with your translation, whatever you have. When Jesus noticed that all who had come to the dinner were trying to sit in the seat of honor near the head of the table, he gave them this advice. Verse 8. When you are invited to a wedding feast, do not sit at the seat of honor. What if someone, what if someone who is more uh, distinguished than you has also been invited? The host will come to you and give this person your seat. Yeah. Then you will be embarrassed and you will have, or you will uh, have to uh, take another seat wherever it's left mm -hmm. at, at the foot of the table. But it says in verse 10, instead take the lowest place at the foot of the table. Then when your host sees you, he will come and say, friend, you have a better place for you. We have a better place for you. Mm -hmm. Then you will be honored in front of all uh, the other guests. Mm -hmm. For those who exalt themselves will be humbled, and those mm -hmm. who humble themselves will be exalted. Yes. Amen. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. Amen. <laughs> Can't teach you no better than that. Amen. This is from Jesus. Amen. Mm -hmm. And we're going to be uh, reading on. Uh, verse uh, 12 through 24. So hallelujah, yes, we teach the word of God. We teach from the word of God, amen. And we're going to be talking about, it says, verse 12 says, Then he turned to the host, and when you put on, put on a luncheon or a banquet, he says, don't invite your friends, brothers, and relatives, and rich neighbors, mm. for you will invite <coughs> who will invite you back, and that will be your only reward. Instead, invite the poor, the crippled, the lame, the blind. Mm. Then at the resurrection, at the righteous, God will reward you for inviting those who could not repay you. Right. Hallelujah. So this is the parable of the great feast. Mm. The, uh, verse 15. Hearing this, a man sitting at the table with Jesus explained, exclaimed, what a blessing it will be to attend a banquet in the kingdom of God. Jesus replied with this story. A man prepared a great feast and sent out many invitations. Oh, Lord. When the banquet was ready, he sent his servants to tell the guests, 
come, the banquet is ready. But they all made it, uh, begin making excuses. One said, I will just, I just bought a field and it must be inspected. Please excuse me. Another said, I have just bought five pair of oxen and I have to try them out. Please excuse me. Another said, I just got married, so I can't come. Well, there, there's one I understand. <laughs> uh, verse 21. I have to come twice. <laughs> verse 21. The servant returned to his master, uh, told his master what they had said. The master was furious and said, go quickly into the streets and the alley of the uh, town and invite the poor, the crippled, the blind, the lame. Mm. After the servant had gone, uh, done this, he reported, this is still, there's still room, more room, uh, excuse me, this is room, there's room for more. Mm. So his master said, go out into the country lanes and behind the hedges and urge anyone to feel, uh, to you find to come so that the house will be full for none of the, of those I first invited will even, will get even the smallest taste of my banquet. Mm. Hallelujah. Mm. So we're going to find out. Remember that God is love. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. And we, of course, Jesus being our greatest example in Ephesians talked about being imitators of Christ. Amen. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're to imitate him. But he, uh, 1 John 4, 7 and 8 says this. Behold, mm. love, love one another. Yeah. For God is love. And anyone who loves is born of God and knows God. Mm -hmm. And he who does not uh, love does not know God, for That's God right. is love. Amen? Love. Hallelujah. So, <laughs> let me read this to you. The host, of course, is, is God. Mm -hmm. Amen? And this we're talking about a feast of salvation. Mm -hmm. When the day of the great feast comes, no one wants to come or to, uh, take time to go. Mm -hmm. They all had excuses for rejecting mm -hmm. his invitation. Mm -hmm. The great feast. They were abundantly blessed. They were too successful. They were too rich. Mm. And were too happy to take time for the feast for him. Jesus says, they were ungrateful, un un unappreciative, mm -hmm. unthankful, showed no gratitude. Mm. Remember, Jesus paid the price for our salvation. Yes. And he's inviting us. Salvation is a free gift. Yes. It cost Jesus his life. Yes. The Father sacrificed his son. And salvation is for you. We must surrender. This is where we need to surrender and invite him to be our Lord and Savior now. Amen. Amen. So praise God. Salvation is free. Receive it now. No excuses. You have an invitation to heaven. Accept it. No excuses. You know, if you don't make it, you can't blame nobody but yourself. That's right. It's free, but you have to confess. The Bible says with your mouth. Yeah. You have to confess with your mouth. Yeah. No, you know, my uh, grandma, grandpa, and and mom and dad, they can't receive it for you. Amen. You have to do it with your mouth. That's right. It's got to come out of your mouth. Your words, I confess. You confess with your mouth to Lord Jesus and ask him to come be your Lord and Savior. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. After salvation, we commit to live a life of servanthood. Yes. Commit, uh, complete your call and be heaven bound. Mm -hmm. Amen. And do your best for him. So praise God. The Lord will come and say, well done, good and faithful servant. Those who have been faithful over a few, I will make thee ruler over many. Yeah. Enter into the joy of thy Lord. And this is Matthew Amen. 25, 23. <clears throat> Praise God. Amen. Amen. So we must accept him now. Surrender now. Amen. Yeah. And yes. give our best to him. <laughs> we cannot make it uh, to heaven on our own. Right. And you know, if somebody's told you this, or if you think your money is going to buy you in, or you're going to just uh, be the best person you can be and make your way to heaven, if you haven't confessed then, you ain't going to make it to heaven. Amen. Right. Right. Unless you want to spend eternity in hell. Mm. Because the only two places you can go is either heaven or hell. Mm. Amen? <laughs> Praise God. So it's time to receive him now, accept him now. Praise God. Woo. If we want to make make it to heaven on our own we're defeating ourselves accept them is a must yes no more excuses right. accept them now and accept the invitation 
Don't let family, friends, job, careers, greed, pride, laziness hold you and keep you out of heaven. The choice is yours. Amen? Amen. What you must do is surrender to him. <clears throat> have a champion. Have a winning attitude. Yes. Surrender to him and press on with Amen. him. Amen. No more excuses. We must reject sin and accept our invitation. Mm -hmm. Accept our call. Amen. We've heard this so many times. He's coming back. Mm -hmm. And we prepare for the fall. We prepare for the flu season. We prepare for mm -hmm. uh, the hurricanes. We prepare for bad weathers. But we can't prepare ourselves to be ready for his coming back. Right. We just say, ah, you know, that's nothing. Mm. Look out. <laughs> Let go of all excuses. No holding back. Give your all to God. Yes. Totally surrender to him. And let God bring you into what he's called you to be. He's yes. called every one of us. We must remember this. Every one of us has a calling in our lives. <laughs> he's called you, equipped you, anointed you. And he's approved you. So yes. now, what's holding you back? Mm -hmm. Whatever excuse is, let it go. Mm -hmm. Amen. God has already placed everything in us to complete our mission. Yes. We're all well equipped to complete whatever he's called us to do. Yeah. That's the thing we need to remind ourselves. Because mm -hmm. if you don't renew your mind to the things of God, the world, people, mm -hmm. things will get to you. Right. Amen. and try to pull you down they're not going to lift you up they're going to pull you down especially the jealous because they can't do what you're doing mm -hmm. commit yourself surrender yourself Amen. You know? Amen. Amen. so they're going to try to enemy's going to use anything and everything to try to hold you back make excuses mm -hmm. so renew your mind so that you can press on with what he's called you to do and he wants you to complete this Let's not get too busy and forget who we are and whose we are. Yes. Amen? <laughs> I've told you this so many times. David, the little shepherd boy, and they had him shepherding because <laughs> they didn't think too much of him. Mm. His brothers, he thought of his brother, Jesse thought of his uh, sons more highly than he thought about David. So he had just David shepherding. And so for some of us, we place, place ourselves in, 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 in these positions, you know, where, where God won't think too much of me. Mm. So we've uh, excluded ourselves, mm. you know. We've allowed ourselves to be excluded and just sit and do nothing mm. because somebody told you that you're no good. Oh, Amen. Sometimes this is from family. Sometimes this is from friends, mm. okay. But still, you've excluded yourself. Mm. Well, David was out there. But David knew his God. Mm -hmm. So that's why you must know your God. Know the truth and set you free. Yes. So you know who you are and whose you are. Let's not get too busy like Mary and Martha. Amen. And forget that the master was right amongst them. Yes. And we're too busy to realize he's here. He's knocking at your door and we're not answering. Yes. Mm -hmm. Amen. Church, it's time that we know that God wants us to do something. He's yes. the head. We're the body. Guess what he's going to use? He's going to yeah. use us. Yeah. And he's called you, and he wants you to step out when he calls. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Let's answer the call. Let's not get too busy like uh, Martha and get the master there, but then again, come and say, you know, hey, I'm busy. Mm. Have Mary come help. Mm. Amen. The world's going to say, you know what? <laughs> you need to do it this way. Mm. And they want to pull you away from what you're doing for the Lord. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. And let's be grateful for all he's done for us. No more excuses. Renounce sin and serve God. Remember, this is the month of Thanksgiving. For right. believers, we celebrate Thanksgiving and giving thanks to God. But every day, for believers, every yes. day is a day of Thanksgiving. Yes. Amen. Amen. Yes. When you get before him and just say, today, thank you, Lord. We've, uh, we have so many things to be thankful for. Yes. Amen. <laughs> just salvation. Just him going to the cross. Yes. Thank it's you. A, Lord. It, 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 it's, you know, for us to say thank you. When God calls you, step out in faith. Yeah. He wants you to do something. It says the just shall live by faith. Mm -hmm. Amen. Just do it. The Bible says that you can do 
something. All things. All things. All things through Christ. Well, what about? No. No excuses. He said, you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. No excuses. Just trust Him and step out in faith. Amen. Amen. Not one time did He say, you know, go back. Not one time uh, did He say, you know, to quit. He says, press on. Amen. Amen. Jeremiah 29, 11 says in the New Living Translation, for I have plans for you. Yeah. The I there, you can just scratch it and put your name on there. Mm -hmm. Amen. For I have plans, for I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. Plans for being well, well being and not for troubles, mm -hmm. to give you a future and a hope. Mm -hmm. I have a future and a hope. And I see myself in heaven. He says, we're pilgrims just passing through this world. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Heaven is our home. Yeah. We're just passing yeah. through. Amen. But God wants to use us. Amen. So, God has chosen you for greatness. So say this with me. Listen. Point at you. Yeah. And say, I have been I chosen have for chosen. greatness. I have been chosen for greatness. greatness. Amen. Yes. All right. Here we go. Just keep the finger there. <laughs> God wants you to be more than you dream. So say this. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I can, I can do all, all things through Christ, Christ who strengthens me. me. Amen. And that's you. You can put your name there. Jose can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. God is on your side. Who yes, yes. can defeat you? Yes. Say this with me. God is on my side. God is on my side. I cannot be defeated. I cannot be defeated. You know who you fight against? You're fighting against a defeated foe. Yes. Amen. The enemy is amen. a defeated foe. Yes, yes. Amen. But we have to know the truth because this is going to set us free. Yes. Amen. I cannot be defeated. Right. You can only exactly. be defeated if you allow yourself to yes. be defeated. Yeah. Amen. But you don't, don't allow yourself to be defeated. Yeah. Let it go and let it God motivates us to. Yeah. I can do all things through Christ. Yes. Receiving Him, serving Him, being used by Him uh, to be a witness, to complete our mission, and to be heaven bound. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm excited to receive Him, I'm excited to serve Him. Amen. You know, <laughs> the world gives you something, it, it promotes you or whatever, and man, you're so excited. Uh, boss, I want to do whatever for you. And God blesses us, you know, promotes us, and we just step back and do nothing and make excuses not to be there to serve. You know, he wants us to serve. Amen. Yeah. Oh, praise God. Hey, I don't know about you, Lord. but I want to serve him. Amen. Praise God. To be a witness unto him. He says he's there for us. Amen. Mm -hmm. uh, Ephesians 2 and 6 says, and, raised us, and raised us up together and made us sit in, together in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. Mm -hmm. So I'm heaven bound. Yeah. He's made a place for you. Amen. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Ephesians 3, uh, Philippians 3 and 20 says, for our citizenship is in heaven mm -hmm. from which we also eagerly wait for the Savior. The Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. We eagerly wait for the Savior. Mm -hmm. Hey, we're waiting. He's coming. We just got to be patient and we have yes. to have faith. He will be coming. Yes. Amen. But our citizenship yes. is in heaven. Yes. I'm a believer. I'm a child of God. And I know where I belong. I am heaven bound. Amen. Amen. And uh, for the, we, read, we read this scripture all the time. But Philippians 3 13 and 14, New King James says, Brethren, I do not count myself to have apprehended, yes. but one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind, yes. forgetting the past, and reaching forward to those things which are, which are ahead. Yes. I press towards the goal for the price of the upward call of God in Christ Jesus. Amen. That price is heaven. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm excited. Lord. <laughs> so, you know, serving God is not boring. Right. Amen. If right. it's boring, you're not doing the right thing. <laughs> right. <laughs> Hallelujah. It's exciting. Yeah. The day of the great feast comes and no one wants to take time to go. They all had their excuses of rejecting his invitation. They were abundantly blessed. Mm -hmm. They were too successful, too rich, and they were too happy to take time. They were too happy to take time for the feast for, the, for him. They were ungrateful. Amen. They were ungrateful, unthankful, showed no gratitude. In verse 18, we just read, but they began making excuses. The first one said what? The first one said, I had just bought a fuel. 
and I want to inspect it. Mm. Wouldn't you inspect it before you buy it? Yeah. Why would you go and buy it and then inspect it and you find out you got you got taken, you got, taken. <laughs> you got robbed? You say, wow. Uh, yeah. and the second one says, uh, I had just bought five pair uh, of options uh -huh. and I want to try them out. Well, yeah. Try them out before buying them? Same thing. Uh -huh. Same thing. <laughs> I want to go check them out be before, you know. What if you buy a car and you pay for it and then you go try it out? It has no motor in it. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Shouldn't they get it, check mm -hmm. it out before? Mm -hmm. <laughs> or find out you mm -hmm. bought something bad, amen? Mm -hmm. Sorry, excuses. <laughs> of course, we got the third one here. Oh, you understand that? The first one was sorry excuse. The third one I, it was the second was a lame excuse. The third one, I have <laughs> just been married and I cannot come for a few hours. It says, this is the worst excuse of all. <laughs> for he could have left his wife just for a few hours, as he did in many other occasions. Yeah. That was not he was not asking that he was not asked to divorce his wife, but merely to attend a feast. Uh -huh. The worst excuse. Leave the past behind. <laughs> yeah, he could have took her with him. <laughs> Reasons they did not accept the invitation of the feast. That's bad. He made excuses not to accept the invitation. Mm -hmm. Amen. So, a few more excuses: fears, spouses, mm -hmm. friends, jobs, greedy, procrastinations, oh, and failures. So yeah. we have to be careful. What's your excuse? Mm -hmm. Think about the many times. We made excuses. Uh -huh. Amen. Lord, I love to, but mm. <clears throat> you picked the wrong person. I'm not yeah. as good as him. Yeah. I'm not as good as her. They're better. Amen. Mm. <coughs> Maybe you didn't say it in public, but you said it in him. Yeah. He knows. <laughs> yeah. I can't do it. The Bible didn't say, I can't do all things through Christ. Right. It says, I can do I all can. things through Christ mm. who strengthens me. I failed in everything. Mm. I failed all the time. No. I'm a nobody. Mm. You know, this is something you hear in the world. This is something you hear from family. Mm. You know, so you have to be careful. I'm mm. too busy. Oh, boy. Oh, you know why I don't go to church? I'm going to be straight up and I'm going to tell you. <laughs> I hate church. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here's a here's a better one. Oh. I hate my pastors. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I got hurt. Oh. <laughs> my church is not good enough. My church is too small. No. You know, remember what I've said before. Even if you have a small even if you have a small church, you have a, a big God. Yes. Amen. He's bigger than any problems yes, that yes. you have. Amen. Yes. Praise God. <laughs> we must turn loose of but God excuses. Oh, yes. But God, you don't know. Oh, <laughs> <clears throat> Those excuses that hold us back keep us from receiving and enjoying all that God has for us. Oh, He's got many God, things yeah. for you. He's got yes. blessings for you, but yes. we're keeping ourselves out. Uh -huh. Amen. A lot of times it's how we hang out. The words we speak. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. So watch your words and your actions. Yes. Amen. <laughs> yeah. Keep us from receiving and enjoying all God has for us. Jesus paid the price. He's given us salvation, heaven, and blessings. So we need to get busy mm -hmm. and get off your pomosiyama <laughs> and get busy for God. Amen. Yes. It's time to step out of your uh, closet. It's time to step out of your boats, whatever you want to call yes. it. Everybody's uh -huh. coming out of their closets, you know, except for Christians. <laughs> mm. We're still behind the door. Yeah. Don't want nobody to know mm. that we're still Christians. <laughs> mm. So, every day is accepting and, and serving God. Amen. Mm. Lord, I'm here to serve you. Amen. Whatever it is, what's my assignment? Amen. I'm telling you, military-wise, every day you have priorities. Mm. And you know your priorities on a daily basis. On a daily basis that we meet with him, we know what our priority is. Mm. Go and share the good news. Amen. Amen. There's enough sad news in this world to go around. Oh, boy. But you know nobody wants to share the good news. Mm -hmm. That's our number one priority. Amen. Mm. Woo. Amen. <laughs> Amen.
<laughs> get back with the calling he has for you. Yes. You know, somebody told you he don't want to use you, can't use you anymore. It's false. It's mm. not even scriptural. That's right. It's not even in the word. He wants to use you, so get busy for him. Amen. Yes. <laughs> you never want you don't give up. He don't give up on us. Don't you give up on him. Right. We must obey and step out. Yeah. You know, Moses made excuses. I can't even talk. Mm. You know, Jonah, he told Jonah, I mean, uh, Noah built him an ark. He said, mm, what's an ark? Mm. But still, they, didn't, they totally surrendered to him. Mm. Even though they didn't know what an ark was. Mm. He didn't know what an ark was. He didn't even know what a flood was. Right. What is flood? Or rain. Or rain, yeah. you know. But still, they obeyed and they surrendered unto what God wanted them to do. Yeah. We must do the same thing. Amen. Amen. You know what? Amen. You'll find out as you go. <laughs> as you step out in faith. Yes. Amen. You'll find out. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Jonah. He told Jonah, go and speak yeah. his word in Nineveh. But he wouldn't surrender at first. Huh. But then, he <laughs> said, when he found out he's going the wrong way, he says, you know what? I'm your problem. Just throw me off the boat and your problems will be solved. I need to go back. And God took him back. And God used him. Yes. He yeah. fulfilled what God called him to do. Oh, Amen. Just like Peter. We talked about Peter last week. Peter denied him three times. Jesus didn't give up on him. He surrendered yeah. himself to him. That was his lowest point. Oh, and God, man. Jesus used him in a mighty way yes, to did. preach at Pentecost. Yes. And thousands were born into the kingdom of God. Mm -hmm. He wants to do the same with you. You know, yeah. if you bring one soul into the kingdom of God, that's that's awesome. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. It makes you feel so good. The world don't know, but you know how it makes you feel so good. Mm -hmm. Amen. <laughs> Philippians 4.13, again, it says, For I can do all things through Christ yes. who strengthens me. Mm -hmm. Amen. Ooh, hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Lord. So, expose whatever excuses you have. Turn them loose. And uh, no more holding back. Amen. It's time to press on. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Some excuses that really hold you back. One of them, of course, is fear. Mm -hmm. The approval of men. <laughs> we want the approval of men. Oh, boy. We want to please people mm -hmm. so bad, you know. And we forget about it, the things of God. Yes. And give it up. That's right. But we're not to That's forget right. about that. The approval of man. Notice that many, well, let's go to uh, John 12. <coughs> John chapter 12. In verse 42 and 43. Are you there? Yes. yes. Uh, 42, 43. Nevertheless, amongst you, the chief rule also many believe on him. But because of the Pharisees, they did not confess him, lest they should be put out of the synagogue. Mm. For they love the praise of men more than the praise of God. Oh, boy. <laughs> so a lot of times, oh, I'm not going to confess Jesus. Mm. <laughs> Notice yeah. that many believed on the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh -huh. They wouldn't admit to anyone because of fear. Mm -hmm. You know, in the last days, it's supposed to be worse. <laughs> yeah. But you got to stand your ground. You got to walk in faith. Amen. Yes, amen. We must stand for Jesus amongst the people we meet. Mm -hmm. And they will stand up for us because mm -hmm. all of God's angels. Amen. He will stand up for us. He says he never leaves us nor forsakes That's us. Right. He's always there for us. These people were ready to step over the line, but they weren't ready to step into Jesus' best for them. Amen. Mm -hmm. But they did not because they cared more about what human approval is about. Mm -hmm. The world approval more than God's best. So, world approval is only temporal. God's approval is eternal. Amen. So, that's what we need. We need. And we must be God pleasers and not men pleasers. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> He still wants us to do our best for him. Amen. And he wants to bless you. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Ooh, this is so good. Yes, amen. amen. Ooh, thank you, Lord. So make a decision to serve God, even if people talk about you. Huh. Call your names or make fun of you. And they will. 
Yeah. You know, they call you all kind of names like a holy roller, Jesus <laughs> priest, uh, Bible thumper, <laughs> preacher man, <laughs> Bible man. <laughs> that's all right. <laughs> Whatever they want to call me, that's okay. Praise mm -hmm. God. I'm still going to step out of faith. I'm still yeah. going to step out. <laughs> Just think what they call Jesus. Mm -hmm. And Jesus, you know, he went and taught our father because he needed strength. Yes. So what about us? We need strength, right? Yeah. He says, the joy of the Lord is your strength. So if I'm going to serve him, I'm going to serve him with joy. Uh -huh. It's going to make people mad anyway. Yeah. You know, they try to, their best yeah. to put you down, yeah. make you sad and doom and gloom, and you still smiling. Mm -hmm. You say, wow, we can't get this guy. What's wrong with this guy? Mm -hmm. Well, because my heart is his. Amen. And being a God pleaser, not a man pleaser. Uh -huh. you know? So whatever you say, forget it. Hmm. The ones that laugh and ridicule are the one, very set of ones that will um, be calling for help. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You notice that? I know some of you have. <laughs> the ones that are ridiculing you and saying things about you are the ones that come and say, you know, I could use some prayer. Yeah. <laughs> could you pray for my family? Could you pray about that? I say, wow. And you're thinking, weren't you the one that was leading the pack and putting me yeah. down, but yeah. that's all right, you know, pray for them anyway, amen, don't wait and say, well, I'll pray for you from from the house or, or from wherever, no, pray for them right then, amen. you know, people are watching, yeah. maybe more people need prayer, amen, yeah. but pray for them then, <laughs> never be afraid of what people think or say or about you, know who you are in Christ, see yourself the way he sees you, he sees you, <laughs> <laughs> is that you, Lord? <laughs> he sees you a winner. Yeah. He sees you a champion. Uh -huh. He sees you an overcomer. Amen. And that's the way you need to see yourself. Uh -huh. Yes. Know that He's got a calling and divine and a divine destiny for yes. you. Yes. Don't fear them. Love them. The uh -huh. power of love is the most powerful force there is because yeah. God is love. And we read a few minutes ago, First John four eight says, "But anyone." Who does not love does not know God, for God yes. is love. Know yes. your God. Amen. And of course, uh, John 3, 16, for God so loved the world. Yes. For God so loved the world. This world, the world here means for God so loved people. Uh-huh. what yes. he do? So much that he gave his one and only son. Yes. So that everyone who believed in him will not perish, but have eternal life. Amen. Amen. Woo. Hallelujah. Matthew 10, 16. I'm not sending you, I'm, it says, I'm sending you out as a sheep amongst wolves. Oh, boy. So be wise as a snake and mm -hmm. harmless as a dove. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> Problems yeah. are going to face you every day. Yeah. You're going to face these uh, wolves all the time. Mm -hmm. Amen. But know that you're this, uh, what's this? A sheep amongst wolves. Yes. You're the lamb. You're the lamb amongst, yeah. or the sheep amongst the wolves. Amen. Yeah. So stand up for Jesus. Don't be afraid of what others think or say. That's when right. the Holy Spirit tells you to do something, uh -huh. don't hesitate. Just do it. That's right. Amen. We, as we went to the church, are talking about fear. Fear is going to hold you back. Mm -hmm. Say, wow, because I can't do it. I'm not good enough. I'm not qualified. Mm -hmm. And the world is telling you all these things. Mm -hmm. You're not qualified for this job. You're not good for this job. Mm -hmm. You're not good for this. Jesus says, I've already qualified you. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. I've already qualified you. I've yes. already approved you. Yes. So what's holding you back? That's right. What's your excuse? Yes. You know, step out. Step out. Don't hesitate. Just do it. Allow God to use you. Be available. Be a world changer. Thirst and hunger for more. Yes. yes. Be available. Yes. When you're available, he can come. You know, uh, Ryan, brother Ryan, there, he's a EMS. And he's on call 24 7. They can call him anytime. He's available. Mm. Amen. He goes. We need to be the same way. Lord, you can use me 24 7. Mm. Amen. Whenever. It's time to go. It's time Amen. to be obedient. Step out in obedience yes. to God. We'll become an answer to somebody's prayer. Yes. Hey, you can call on me. Mm -hmm. Somebody needs prayer. Mm -hmm. Could be somebody on the other side of the world, but you're praying for them. Well, I don't know that person. You don't have to know them. Mm -hmm. The Lord's impressing on you to pray about this situation. Yeah. 
Yes. Pray about it. Amen. Maybe yes. you can't find nobody else. Yes. But he found you. Yes. And I have a willing, open heart. Willing. Yes. Uh-huh. Praise God. So step out in obedience to God. And you'll become somebody. Yes. Answer to somebody's prayer. Yes. To love, to serve. To love is to serve. And to serve is to love. You need to write that down. Mm -hmm. To love is to serve. That's good. <laughs> and to serve is to love. Yeah, if you have a need, then give. Mm -hmm. If you have a need, give. Mm -hmm. Awesome. You know when you give, it says give, and it shall be given yes. them to you. Mm -hmm. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over. Yeah, you yeah. cannot outgive God. That's right. Amen. When you give, it's going to be given back to you. Yeah. And not just one for one. He's going to multiply it back to you. Yeah. I said, oh, praise God. Yeah. Ooh, it pays. <laughs> the opposite of fear was faith. Believers live by faith. Matthew eleven twenty two. 22. Have faith in God or have the God kind of faith. Mm -hmm. Romans 1, 17. The just shall live by faith. Mm -hmm. We are the just. Yeah. Live by faith. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> and of course, uh, St. Corinthians Five seven, we have it up here. It says, "For we walk by faith and not by sight." And you could put there, "I walk by faith mm -hmm. and not by sight." Jose walks by faith and not by sight. Amen. Mm -hmm. The New Living Translation says, "For we live by believing and not by seeing." Mm -hmm. Believing in what the Word of God tells us. Amen. Mm -hmm. Not by seeing. Hallelujah. Yeah. So praise God. For God has not given us a spirit of fear. Mm -hmm. Amen. This uh, fear thing. It says Second Timothy 1 7 says, For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but a power, love, and of a sound mind. Yes. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah. So boy, boy. every day, begin every day yes. by stepping out in faith and not in fear. Amen. Because if you don't spend time with him, fear is going to meet you at the door. Uh -huh. Yes. <laughs> Fear is going to meet you at the door every time. And everywhere yes. you go, you're going to feel the fear. Amen. You just say, uh -uh, I'm stepping out of faith. Amen. I'm stepping out of faith. Praise God. And, uh, you know, we're going to have a part three because uh, we're not going to finish all this. Amen. Of course. <laughs> yeah. our, our next one uh, we'll be talking about is uh, putting off or procrastinating. Yeah. You know, mañana, tomorrow. Uh -huh. I want you to do something. Well, yes, Lord, but uh, tomorrow. Tomorrow is another day. No, somebody's depending on you praying yes. right now. So don't yeah. put it off tomorrow, but you can have today. Yes. Amen. So we're going to close it there yes. and uh, continue, I guess, on part three for uh, surrendering. You know, it's very important that we understand what surrender is all about. Surrendering to God is not defeat. Surrendering to God is victory. Yes. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Victory in Jesus. Awesome song. I love that song. Yes. But we have victory in Him. You know, when we surrender yeah. to Him, it's time we step off the throne, get off the throne, and put Him there. Yeah. And we can have a victorious day on a daily basis. Yeah. The Bible yeah. tells us also, this is the day the Lord has made. Mm. I, I will, will rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. I mean, regardless of whatever circumstances you're facing, whatever yeah. uh, the weathers you're, you're facing, maybe freezing outside, maybe whatever, but still, I'm going to be glad and rejoice. Yes. Rejoice and be glad yeah. because God has given me a new day to serve Him. Amen. All you need to do is step out in faith, make yourself available for Him to use you, yes. and He's going to use you. Amen? Amen? So praise God. Amen. Let's close with that. Thank you, Lord, for this awesome words that you have given us, and we're just going to grow from that, Father, in Jesus' yeah. name. Amen.